If you are a beginning agency owner, I'm going to give you the top three to four niches that you should be going after right now to make sure that your client acquisition is supreme and very leveraged right off the bat. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to this video and channel. I appreciate all you guys coming on by. But if you're a beginning agency owner, there are a couple of niches right now that are so easy to get people results in that I'm gonna go over those today. So first one is local gyms. And I know that COVID, you know, wiped out a lot of local gyms, but if you right now, because obviously COVID's like basically gone, getting gyms leads is very, very simple. And all we push for local gyms is a free training session. And the free training session directs them right to Calendly. And then the personal trainer or the assistant at the gym calls those leads and closes them at ease. Okay. And that's been very, very like lucrative for gyms. So personal training session, it's free. They go to the calendar, they book their time to come in, they go in, show rates 80%, and then the and then the upsell take rates over 90 because they're in person. It's hard for them to say no in person. Okay. So that's one niche right off the rip. And you could just use simple Facebook lead forms or you could use a small landing page or what we use is a Wix, like short landing page, like a website, but it's a one page Wix landing page slash website that just shows reviews you know, shows like their city on the top, you know, what they're offering, testimonials, Google reviews, Yelp reviews, all that fun stuff, FAQs, and every single button on the page is just get your free training session. And then in the subtext, it says like their city. That's been crushing it. So number one are gyms. Number two is going to be business funding and credit repair. So business funding is just ridiculous right now because there's a lot of people who I work right now who can push certain offers and the offers everything. And one of my clients is able to do like $150,000 in business funding within 24 hours at 0% interest. That is the sexiest offer ever. I'm getting him about 40 to 100 apps every single week on only $150 a day in ad spend. And one customer to him is worth $3,000 to $10,000. And all he has is a good personal brand. He made a really good video and we only run traffic to his Instagram DMs. That's all we do, okay? The video has send message on the bottom, hit send message. They just send a message and then he sends them to the credit app. They fill it out and then they're already in the buying process. Process. Now they just got to qualify. If they don't qualify, that's when they upsell credit repair. Now on the other side of the coin, credit repair alone is also a very lucrative business because most people don't have a high credit score. They don't know how to leverage, you know, financial literacy. Like a lot of people don't actually understand how to manage money, you know, how not paying the rent hurts them, how their credit card bills hurt them you know, how APR works, interest. A lot of people were not educated about that stuff in school. And because of that, you know, they can't get high paying jobs. They can't get accepted for apartments. They can't get accepted for business loans, personal lines of credit, trade lines, all that fun stuff because their credit is just so awful. And that's like a very home skill. If you can leverage credit, you can do whatever the hell you want. And that's like really a big piece of what I do. So that's like a two combination. We just got another order on our store for 18 bucks. Let's go. We're in there. So yeah, I'm pumped. And uh, I love how I like twisted my head. We just launched this new e-com store and we're coming out with weekly like vlog recaps of how I'm taking the store from zero to a mil. Um, so make sure you guys subscribe. There's so much fucking content that we're putting out right now. This is ridiculous. I think honestly, like on my heart, like I think we're the most underrated business entrepreneurship YouTube channel for SMA owners, Shopify store owners, business owners looking to scale and grow. Like I'm putting out so much stuff right now. I built an entire team for this and this is gonna be epic. So make sure you stay tuned. I'm making a huge push this year to be like that number one guy in the niche. Um, I'm already number one in ads. No one out competes me. So now it's just a matter of getting the space in something else. So um, the other thing, the other niche that's definitely good is, you know, we talked about gyms, talked about credit repair, business funding. The other one is hair growth oil, okay? And that's like an e-com based product. And that also is a combination of boutiques. E-com is, is difficult, but also very easy to get clients because a lot of people have shop five stores. That's huge right now. Um, so if you're like, you know, decent at copywriting, you know how to write words that sell, you know, maybe you've dabbled with Shopify, some of the theme stuff, some apps, conversion boosting apps, you know, there's a lot of free tutorials on YouTube about that. That's a big, big niche. And I would stick with like, you know, hair products, skin products, try to stay away from clothing brands, stuff like that. That's just like really a shit show, to be honest. Everybody thinks they're Nike and they literally have no proven concept. So I would stay away from that. And then another good business model is, oh, email marketing. Okay. If you are a agency owner who is like, you know, running ads, you're doing marketing, you're doing social media management, but like doing email marketing is the most ROI positive thing a business owner can do. And that's email plus SMS. And all you need to do is know Clavio for e-com stores, you know, MailChimp, active campaign for people who are doing like, you know, coaches, consultants, webinars, service providers. That's huge, huge. 
Uh, I mean, some of our clients, they make an extra 15 to 25% a month, you know, 15 to 25% extra a month just because of email and SMS. So those are huge. That's a huge thing to do. Like, and it's not really a niche. It's like a service, but like the service is kind of a niche because if you're really deadly at Clavio and all these things for e-com stores and SMS, like you're going to make your clients more money or a higher ROAS than like sometimes your ads do, which is, which is insane. I'm trying to think of another niche. Another really interesting niche has actually been like, like the, like I talked about the hair products and the skincare, but another one is actually like artists that I haven't really dabbled with actually. And you're probably like, well, artists are broke, blah, blah, blah. Like music artists. Here's the thing though. You can like white label Shopify playlist placement softwares for like 70 bucks a month and get the client to pay 200 and you just manage it to where you can churn a bunch of artists and like actually get them some type of tangible results. I haven't gotten into that niche because they're just like, they don't really have a lot of money. They don't understand how much they actually have to spend on like YouTube ads and like getting placed on Shopify five playlists like it's a very interesting niche it's not something that like i'm crazy excited about but it's something that if you're first starting out you're not making a crazy amount of money you don't have a lot of fulfillment issues you can dabble with that and then also press is another one so people who push press that's a very easy thing to sell like getting published on news in 24 hours getting you know placed on major news outlets that's a really good niche to like you know, obviously do ads for because the offers in the pudding, it's like, hey, get published, talk about yourself, you're egotistical, like people will buy it. So those are just kind of like, you know, just some top niches that I would go after if I'm an agency owner who is beginning. And then other thing would be like med spas, doing Botox fillers. That's a very good offer as well because you can get them to go from like, hey, get a free kit to then booking a call because Botox is worth thousands of dollars, fillers are worth thousands of dollars. And then you can upsell people, like the med spa will upsell people from those services to other ones that make the AOV almost three to five grand. So there's more to the back end of the business that right now though, I kind of just want to cover like the best, you know, kind of clients to go after. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, you know, this video. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. If you're a beginning agency owner and you want to learn more about building your agency systems, all that, this is the channel for you. Just subscribe down below, comment any questions you have, like the video, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.